Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. This is going to be about startup, taxi, and takeoff in the P51D Mustang that we have. Um, well, we'll just get right into it, I guess. Um, so first thing we'll do when we come in here is we want to move our flaps up all the way. If you're kind of heavy, you can do maybe 10, 20 degrees of flaps, but typically all the way up for startup. Our carburetor air control for cold air, set that all the way up to here to ram air, leave the warm air where it is. Um, the next thing we'll do on our left side over here is we're going to set our rudder trim to about six degrees nose right. Um, come over to the right side, turn our radio on, any one of these channels, I'm not sure what the default frequencies are, you can change those in the mission editor, and leave the switch here all the way over to the right to REM. Our battery and generator switches will turn on here. Lights and heating we don't need today because it's June and it's daytime. Um, crack the throttle a little bit, RPM knob all the way forward for the propeller RPM. Uh, Parking brake, we'll set that, so press and hold, depress your tow brakes all the way, pull the parking brake handle out, release your tow brakes, and then release the parking brake handle. You can see that's been set because it's been pulled out. Um, we'll set our sight to camera and sight down. We don't need our guns on right now. Um, you can leave that off if you want to, but I like to have it on. Fuel booster, we'll turn that on. Now, for the actual startup what we're gonna do we're gonna prime the engine for five seconds or so right now um then i'm gonna we're gonna hold the starter switch up the engine will rotate a couple times the propellers will rotate a couple times we're gonna turn both our, igni our magneto switch over to both um and then we're gonna come here and our mixture control we're gonna set to run which is like our auto rich kind of default um uh mixture that we're gonna use essentially always so let's do that. So prime it for five seconds. Should turn our fuel on actually. So that's definitely something you want. Leave your um, the fuel selector, just leave that on the main left tank. Um, and now starter, couple rotations, magnetos on, and set this to run with a right click. Flaps are coming up now, clamshell doors for the landing gear are now closed. And that's about it for our startup. Um, probably want to let the engine warm up a bit, but we can now taxi. What we're going to do for taxi is we're going to go full aft stick um, so that our we limit the range of movement of the tail wheel. Um, so that it stays straight for our takeoff. We're gonna be holding a stick back for takeoff as well. Press and hold tow brakes to release them. And we're gonna start to roll forward here. Start turning a bit. Let's keep, yeah, you know, adjust your throttle as you would normally to, um, to keep going, to not go too fast while you're taxing. I'm using tow brakes to Differential braking to turn here, get down on this taxiway. And you know, even without braking, you can still use the rudder and that nose wheel, I'm sorry, tail wheel a little bit to make fine adjustments as we get out on the runway. Don't want to slam on your brakes because if you're going too fast, because you'll nose over and you'll destroy your propellers and ruin your plane. I've done that many times. So we just want to keep some brakes to get out here. You can kind of look off to the side to kind of get lined up. You can also do what I like to do, which is to look behind me a bit to make sure that I'm getting lined up on the center line. Sorry if it was a bit hard to hear me while I was trying to look behind me. Um, so we'll just stop here for a second. So takeoff, we are going to, with our RPM all the way forward, we're just going to slowly move our throttle all the way forward. Um, we're going to want to use a bit of right rudder and right stick to counter that torque um, and stick full aft so that we can 
stay on center line better. Um, so our nose wheel, our, sorry, our, again, our tail wheel doesn't move around too much and we can keep track in that center line. Um, as we start to pick up speed, we're going to move our, um, our stick forward as the rudder becomes more effective and we're going to let that nose, uh, or sorry, the tail come up off the ground and then the plane will basically fly itself off, off of the runway. Uh, then once we're airborne, we get some speed up, we'll do gear up, um, flaps up if you have them down. Uh, then we're going to set our engine to our max continuous. I like to do for a little while until I get to a good cruise speed, which is 2700 RPM in our manifold, um, 46 inches of mercury for our manifold pressure. And then eventually we'll adjust that down to our normal cruise parameters, 2400 RPM and 36 inches of mercury for manifold pressure. So right stick, some right rudder, start to slowly increase this, come off our brakes, keep increasing that throttle, stick forward a bit, use your rudder to stay on center line, neutralize stick, and we're off the ground, gear up, Flaps up if you have them. I'm going to close canopy before we get too fast because then it won't close. I'll keep this climb going. I want to probably start trimming out. Once you get some speed up, you can use, you need less right um, rudder trim so you can start moving that back to the left. And we'll slow down a bit here because we're going a couple hundred miles an hour. 2700 RPM or so, 46 inches of manifold pressure inches of mercury manifold pressure and that's about it we're now airborne you have successfully hopefully taken off it's tricky it's definitely much harder i'm gonna pause this because it's definitely loud um it's tricky like i said it's definitely harder than all the jets um but you practice it you kind of get used to it get used to what it's going to do um and then yeah and then you'll get good at it so hopefully this was helpful to you um I, if you want to consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate that. Um, you've been killing it with the support lately and the new subs. I really, it's, it really means a lot to me, genuinely. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, anything I did wrong, anything you can correct me on, any tips, because I'm trying to learn too, um, leave it in the comments. Any words of affirmation are also greatly appreciated. Um, and I hope I'll see you in the next video.